but that's just like you know that's relationships right you know what i'm saying like um, just that is not always gonna be easy, you know what I'm saying? And so, bless her heart, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to her, she's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it definitely hasn't always been easy. I can't imagine it being easy to be my wife with, um, like I said, my, just like my schedule alone, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but you know, uh, we make it work, you know what I'm saying? You know, things are cool. So it shows. I mean, she obviously has to have a certain amount of love for you to be yeah. able to allow you to do those things, you know, and it's reciprocated in that way. Yeah. Yeah. So that she's a black belt, though, like that makes it make a lot more sense. Like she like understands fighting to an extent where it's just like, oh, no, like you could get hurt out there. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing for like a lot of people who don't do it like for like because that's something that I think was like hard for like partners of mine i think just like how much i have to train but it's like you could get hurt yeah <laughs> like yeah, i'm not trying to like i don't want to like be in there and be like fuck if i would have done this then maybe this wouldn't have happened and now i'm like mad at this person because i feel like they stopped me from doing this yeah, and there's nothing like your first fight when you're like just in your shorts and maybe in it but like all right so when you're in the cage and you're in your shorts with nothing else on. He's in his shorts with nothing else on. And there's only a referee in there. You're like, I can't believe I'm actually fucking doing this. You know what I'm saying? I, and I think that's generally the thought that goes to most people. It's like, I can't believe this is fucking happening. If you're not prepared for that, when that hits, then you're just going to be like a deer to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to get fucking smoked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that feeling never... I would say, like, it definitely, like... Is it nearly as intense as the first time? But I don't think it ever truly goes away. You know what I'm saying? What about UFC Charlotte, though, bro? Like, that had to feel like... <laughs> like, fucking insane. You erupted that place. Bro, what? Dude, that was... That was yeah. our first UFC fight. That yeah. ever been to. Hell yeah. Dude, it was... What was crazy about that was, like... I was like, I signed the fight game... But it was like location to be in the house. They're talking about it being in Charleston. They're talking about it being in Nashville. You know what I'm saying? And so I was sitting there. Like, I'm not even thinking about Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Especially because I'm the only person from North Carolina on the card. Like, I was thinking it was going to be in Vegas the first time I saw it. Just looking at who was going to be on the card. And, um, but then I was driving back from Velocity. One time I was driving from Velocity to CCS and Veggie was in the car with me and he was like, oh, you're fighting in Charlotte? And I was like, nah, nah, dude. I'm, they're talking about it being over here, over there, over here, over there. He was like, no, no, no. He chucked his phone around and said, you're in Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I, like, I, I started crying. I turned on Trips and Nightmares and just started crying and I'm away from the I turned on, I was like, I was just freaking out. I was like, bro, don't look at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, this, is, this is a dream coach. Just like, oh, wow. don't mind me. We get out of the moment right now. And then, like, the actual, like, fight is going on. And it's just like, yeah, like, the walkout. Because I hadn't fought in front of a crowd since before COVID. You know what I'm saying? So I fought in front of a big crowd. You know, all my UFC fights from tough to afterwards have been the apex. So... This is my first time fighting, like, not only fighting in front of this, fighting in the arena, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And so, I didn't know what to expect. It wasn't until I watched it afterwards and heard, heard the commentators, I was like, damn, dude, is it always like this? Like, I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> you know, it's like, I knew that it definitely had an effect being a Charlotte guy, but I didn't know how, like, I didn't really, I guess that probably kind of helped, like, not realizing that it was, like, that crazy, like, I was just like, yeah, I was just fighting, you know what I'm saying? Um, but that was definitely, the energy was just crazy. Like, when you, know, you were in there, did you have that, like, moment of, like, like, soaking it in? Or were you just, like, it was it just, like, another fight? Dude, no, I think, I think every, every second, I was just kind of like, oh, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was on one hand, it was just another fight, but the setting around it was so, so special, like.